It's Tuesday 30th of May. Uh, we've just been outside doing a very wet and rainy selection of the Kahaku, which has been outside for around five weeks now. Um, what we do here at Purding Koi is at this stage, uh, they actually bring uh, the, the koi that are going to be kept. They're actually brought inside and now they're growing on inside in one of the large concrete ponds here. So the selection that have been kept are just being counted now into the concrete pond. Okay, so this is a small selection um, of the kaku that have been kept. Um, just picked out just to just to show you. Bill, can you explain why? So you've got mud ponds outside. We're still only at the end of May, but you're bringing the, the fry in at this stage. Can you explain why? Well, this is, we bring them in from the mud ponds. Um, ready to make our not final selection but our next selection in about two weeks time but we treat them um, with medicines uh, basically antiparasitic antibacterial medicines before they go into our grow out pond okay uh, we will make uh, another selection then and only probably out of the front of maybe six seven hundred we brought in only a hundred will make it out into that the rest will go back into a mud pond okay to go out further so it's just the very best ones you're choosing now to select, so what's the, why do you find, what's the advantage you find of growing in the concrete grow out pond as opposed to the well, mud pond? Once they're in the net for about maybe a couple of weeks, uh, the colours come up on them and you can actually see a better pattern and a better quality of them, the whites and the reds by that time. So we can distinguish, although there are those that we're unsure about and they will go back into the mud pond for another month or so to grow bigger okay but it's just protecting what we feel at that time is our best and protecting them from as you've seen in other videos there's plenty of aerial predators here at Perth and Koi farm and obviously if they're inside in the great pond they're protected from those so we found that when we uh, put them directly into the grout pond from the mud pond they suffer so we like to acclimatise them within the well, with the well water um, and they settle in better uh, into our concrete grout ponds at that point. So this well water inside is different well water to the well water it outside? Is, yeah, but it's, it's more similar than the mud pond water. Okay. So it's a gradual acclimatisation of it all. So Scott, what are your thoughts on, on these kawaki? Small selection bills made? I think these are just simply the best kawakus we've ever created at the farm. That's all I think. So these are the same kawaki that we, we had on video uh, a week or so ago. Um, they've grown incredibly well in that week. I mean, they grew well. Mm -hmm. we, thought they were, we thought they were big. Um, were we commenting on the body? Yeah. I, I thought they were the best kawakus I'd ever seen at the farm back then. And they look even better and they're just going to keep looking better. They're very, what I call, behind which is what you love in a koi, where it's developing slowly and powerfully and they have incredible bodies, incredible white. So he is really remarkable. And the other thing, Mark, that should make everyone excited, that's a customer, there are lots of good ones. So this, this female has produced lots of great fish. So this is a great time to buy koi. And uh, it's a, we're, I'm ecstatic, Bill's ecstatic, you know. I love these fish, and uh, that's, I don't know what else to say. So nice to come home from England too. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I'm just really, really happy with these fish. You know. Okay, great. So we'll look forward to seeing these again in a couple of weeks as they've grown on here indoors, um, once the next selection is made. So here we have 780 small kaku, inch and a half, two inches in size I guess, that have been selected out this morning. There's still some left in the mud pond, so this isn't all from this spawning, um, which is the Ricky Dozan female.
As we said when we spoke to Bill, these coil will now be grown in here for another two weeks, be treated, another selection made, and those which are considered the best prospects will go into the concrete grow-out pond, 